If you are wondering why the old video about width is gone, here is why. I have an update for you. In the old video, I was basically trying to show you how to find width by eyeballing it, by looking at someone's body. However, still many people found it confusing and they couldn't see it. Recently, David Kibbe gave us an update on how to find width and it is actually very easy, so I'm going to explain how to do it here. First of all, let's see what image identities in the Kibbe system are going to have width. And it's going to be soft natural and flamboyant natural. For some reason, I keep seeing people being confused about flamboyant gamin and if they can have width. But the answer to this is no. Actually, gamins are supposed to be petite, which is the opposite of width. So, based on the most recent information that we have, width is supposed to be about the distance between your shoulder seams, not about your actual shoulders. And this is going to be where your sleeves would be attached. Depending on the person's bone structure, this area is going to be a little bit further in or a little bit further out. I actually really like this photo of Jennifer Lopez because with this dress you can kind of see it a little bit. Basically, in someone who doesn't have width, you would expect their shoulder seams to be approximately where the dress is ending. However, you can see that for Jennifer it is a little bit further out than you would expect. Like, if this dress actually had sleeves, if they were attached exactly where this dress is ending, you can kind of see that your shoulders would pull them outwards. They need to be a little bit further apart. So, at this point, let's actually give a solid definition of width. If the area that we just discussed, the distance between the two shoulder seams, is the widest area of your body, then you need to accommodate width. And hopefully you're going to see it in this comparison, because I am comparing a romantic who doesn't have width and Jennifer, soft natural. So, you can see that the way I have sketched it, the sketch is starting from that area, it is the, a broader shape. It is creating a more broad shape compared to the rest of her body. And I know her hips are also very wide, but width is about the upper body. So on Marilyn, you can actually see that this area is not the widest part. You can see that her bust is extending outside of this area, which is actually creating curve on her. And basically the effect of this is that the shoulder area is giving structure to the fabric by pushing it outwards. While in the case of Marilyn, it is actually the bust, the curve, that is pushing out the fabric. So if you have width and it is actually your shoulders that are having this effect, then you are in the natural family. If your bust is pushing out the fabric, then you are some kind of soft image identity, any image identity that has curve. If neither of the two is doing anything and the fabric is just falling straight down, then you are an image identity that needs to accommodate vertical. Except for soft dramatic, of course, which is going to have both. So the vertical for soft dramatic is not going to be there. It's going to be accommodated in the lower body. So, yes, if you see the fabric just going straight down there, not being affected either by width or by the bust, then you are a dramatic, a flamboyant gamine, or a dramatic classic. With this information in mind, you can tell why it is about weight relative to yourself, so it doesn't mean that you have to appear exceptionally white compared to other people, and why people like Nicole Kidman or Anne Hathaway, who are so obviously narrow, are still flamboyant naturals, because when you look at them, you can see that their shoulder seams still need to be further apart to the point that they are the widest part of their body even though it is still relative to themselves, like they are still pretty narrow. People often use Nicole Kidman as an example of Kibi being wrong about his own system, basically, which I don't think it is the case. So have a look at where it would make the most sense to place the shoulder seams on her in a garment that is fitting her very well. You will actually be able to see her width if you do that. At this point, I would like to emphasize once again that it still doesn't have to do about having broad shoulders. Because, for example, you can see here on a dramatic that I would actually describe as having pretty broad shoulders, that the seam area would still be further in. It has to be a little bit intuitive, like you have to imagine where it would make the most sense to put it on that person. Kibi isn't really a body typing system, it is a lot about how clothes look on you, not necessarily exactly how your body looks objectively, and it is also an image system. So, since it is a lot about clothes, you basically have to imagine what would create an ideal fit for that person and the way their body is structured. So, a lot of it is actually from a dressmaking perspective. Basically, what we are trying to describe here is where the shoulders would be from a dressmaking perspective, if you were to make a garment where the shoulders would have an ideal fit. How far apart would they need to be and if they're actually the widest part of the body? Finally, I would like to say that in the Kibi system, accommodation needs such as width, vertical, etc. 
are not exact matches to image identities. So sometimes the difference between a soft dramatic and a flamboyant natural might be tiny. So let's say you are a soft dramatic and you have the tiniest bit of wit. It is a possibility. However, it is only a possibility with image identities that are pretty close in yin-yang balance. So it is not really possible to have a choice between, I don't know, flamboyant natural and theatrical romantic that aren't even near. But like a soft dramatic and flamboyant natural, sure. Or like a soft classic and soft gamin, theatrical romantic and romantic. The system is basically a lot more artistic rather than objective. So you have to take into consideration the whole person, their essence, the way they are presenting themselves. So it is basically a holistic system. This is what I'm trying to say. I am going to wrap up this video here, but there is definitely going to be a series on how to dress for each human's identity. And all of the misinformation and the misconceptions about how naturals are supposed to dress are going to be explained there. So yeah, that thing about naturals having to wear clothes that look like potato sacks, I will discuss them there. <laughs> but I also wanted to say that I'm currently remaking the channel basically, so a lot of the old videos are gone. If you're interested in any of the information in these videos, they are going to come back better and they will make more sense. But also I'm currently making a website and a lot of topics that are more suitable to discuss in text form are going to be there as blog posts. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, please make sure that you do because when the website is ready, which I hope is going to be in a few days, I will actually post it there. And also I'm starting to make some post series on Instagram, which you will maybe find helpful. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing and I will see you the next time.